I'm Richard Winfrey, and I work at Highline Cancer Center, and I've been here about 17 years. Uh, I volunteered. I used to work in the uh, lab as a lab courier. I worked there for 10 years, and I quit working over there and came over to volunteer in the cancer clinic. Uh, and the reason for my volunteering in the cancer clinic, my sister died of breast cancer, so I'm putting back in what I've received from her and things like that. Highline is a special uh, place to work because, hey, you find out about a lot of people that you take care of, uh, and, and then after you've known them for a while, you get to know their personal history because they trust you because you went through what they're going through and you kind of help them go right along through it with that. You, you're by their side or so part of their support group. Makes the Cancer Center a special place to volunteer. Okay, special place, like I said, special place is because my sister died of branch cancer and I just said, hey, this is where I want to work when I get the opportunity to do that. And so here I am working in the cancer clinic. And what do the patients here mean to you? They mean quite a bit because a lot of times, once they get to know me, they don't want nobody to push them in a wheelchair but Richard. And I have a lot of good patients, and like I said, I've come to know them on a personal basis. Volunteer, it all depends on where I'm working at. We have many phases in here in the cancer clinic. We have medical records, we have the patients that are outpatient treatment, and we serve them lunch during the time that they're taking their chemo. And like I said, I talk with them while they're having a snack or drinking coffee. Well, I just enjoy the company because I'm a retired military person, and by me volunteering, I keep myself busy. Okay. You know, this this is also a support group for myself, you know, while I'm working here, you know, so that's it. When I was looking for work, I, I really wasn't looking for work, but I knew the outgoing regime, and they was looking for uh, a courier, and I knew uh, the lawyer from playing racquetball with him in many years and he said oh they're hiring at uh, Highline so I got it through his wife she was one of the head nurses here and I got interviewed and here I am. I, I've enjoyed volunteer like I said I've gotten to know most of my uh, about patients on a personal basis and that it just is part of my life it extended family.